do a quick video on how to configure fast recovery area and archive log mode so that we can do backups either odd backups or code backup on our database so the first thing we have to do is to set up a location where we want all our backups to be saved in this case our CD Priory one. This is the location where I want all the backups for my database to be. So I'll make directory for backups here. Let's do an ls. You can see backups there. If you cd into backups, see our present work there. So this is the location where all my backups will be saved so let's clear this up now the next thing for us to do is to check the archive log mode archive log mode of the database and i'll show you how to do that so let's start with logging into our database. Show you the name of the database. That's board one. Now let's check the recovery area if there's any recovery area set up on this database so we use show parameter db let's call recovery so file and you see we only have a string and a big for the uh, recovery file destination of our string and for the file destination size this big integer which is what zero now let's set up the database recovery file destination size and the database recovery file destination because we already created a path for that so and to do that we do also Well, before we do this, let's check the archive log status mode for this database. So just select log from V our database. This is no archive log. That means we don't have archive log set up on this database. Let's check to see if there's anything open on the archiver from this instance. This is to show if there's any archive log set up elsewhere on this instance and see the status of it. Say start. Now the first thing we do here is to set up to enable our archive log mode, I mean, so that, so to go about that, we shut down the database. Go back to our host. Now let's plug him back into our database. Now we start up. 
startup mount to enable uh, archive log. And we'll run this off to database archive log. Log. To be the outside. Now let's check the status of how archive log would have select. From V. Our database. Now we have it in archive log. Before, as you can see, it says no archive log. Now it's in archive log. So the next thing we do is we set the database recovery file size and database recovery file destination. So for the auto system set DB underscore recovery file destination size twenty five by and the scope here would be for both system or chart. Now let's say the destination to be auto system set DB recovery file on the scope. Destination that will be uh, if I really want backups on the scope here it will be both system outside. Now we can check. What we've just done to be sure we have our, our size for the database recovery file and the destination set correctly. So you can say show parameter DB recovery also file. See now. Our DB recovery file destination is FRA1 forward slash backups and the size is 25 gigabyte. So that's how you set, you, that's how you enable your uh, archive log so you can do backups so you can have a destination to save your backup files. Let's just select archive from dollar instance. Now you see it says what started before what you have there was what start. So once you enable your archive log, this also has been started.